If you're watching this video, the question you're asking yourself is, should I study biomedical science? And one thing I've learned is that a good starting point to approach any question or problem is to dissect it, meaning in this case, asking yourself if you can deduct anything from the word itself. So obviously it's science, duh, but then there's biomedical. Now let's take a look at that. Bio comes from the Greek word bios, meaning life. So biology is a term used for the study of life with the logi part derived from the Greek word logia, meaning the study of something. Now biology is such a broad field that sometimes to specify what you're actually studying or researching, it's easier to mention the subfield's name like botany if you're studying plants, zoology if you're studying animals, biochemistry if you're interested in the chemistry of life, and many more. Now all these subfields together can be grouped under what's known as the life sciences or biological sciences. And to situate more in detail, life sciences are opposed to physical sciences, basically making a separation between living things and non-living things. Now does this mean you don't need to know anything about physical sciences if you want to become a biomedical scientist? Wrong. Of course you need the basics of chemistry and physics to build upon in your further studies. After all, life wouldn't exist if there wasn't a physical earth with soil, metals, minerals, oceans and atmosphere, right? So as life needed these foundations of physical stuff to thrive upon, so will you need the fundamentals of physical science to progress in biomedical sciences. Oh, and also don't forget, you will need some mathematics too. The second part, medical, obviously refers to medicine, duh. Medicine is defined as the science or practice of diagnosing, treating and preventing disease, typically what doctors do. And by doctors I mean clinicians, those with the stethoscopes, not the PhDs, those with the pipettes. So basically if you want to do biomedical science, you need a big interest in biology and medicine. Well here's something important which you can directly tell from the name itself. So coming back to me saying earlier that biology is a broad term, well here's where biomedical science narrows down. We're only interested in the human being. The medicine part of it means you should be interested in how human biology functions in health and dysfunctions in disease, but rather than treating patients as doctors do, we typically want to expand the knowledge on the mechanisms underlying human diseases in order to come up with better drugs, therapies or diagnostics. So where the clinicians focus on treating the patients the best way they can with the tools that are already there, we as biomedical scientists try to find better ways to treat patients or even lay foundations for finding a drug for a disease which was untreatable before. So in essence, we do the research to make sure clinicians can focus their time on treating the patients. But we also of course need the medical lingo for us to communicate about our research findings to those clinicians. Now you might be wondering about all those other bio-something majors like biochemistry, biotechnology, biosciences, bioengineering, biomedical engineering. Well here's the thing, there's a lot of overlap between these majors, but the difference is on the more in-depth focus. So obviously the engineering majors are more focused on building stuff by studying more engineering subjects. Biochemistry and biotechnology for instance is more focused on the chemistry and technology, also go beyond the human being as a focus of attention. To demonstrate a bit the overlap, I can tell you that for instance the biochemists or biotechnologists at my university can even choose to graduate in a biomedical biotechnology major. To put things further in perspective, I can also tell you that during my first work experience in a biopharmaceutical company, my direct colleagues came from different educational backgrounds. I worked together with biochemists, biotechnologists, bioengineers, industrial biochemical engineers, and here's the thing, we were all doing the same type of work. The difference with my education as a biomedical scientist is that they did not have such extensive training in the medical sciences such as anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, pathogenesis and much more. So to wrap this up, if you want to study biomedical science you need a keen interest in human biology and how it functions in health and dysfunctions in disease. There's also a major emphasis on doing research, but it does not mean you have to do research later on. There's plenty of other jobs to choose from and I'll link that in another video in the description below. So if biomedical sciences was the right choice for me, it sure was. I had a major interest in how the human body works, but I did not want to practice medicine in the clinic. Uh, I also have a major interest in biochemistry, biotechnology, molecular biology, but then I also like the medical sciences like physiology, pharmacology, anatomy, genetics. Taking that together, I directly knew biomedical sciences was the right choice for me. Hopefully this video helps. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're up for more. Cheers.